This is how the beginning of last week started. <laughs> Dance party in my space. My friend Allie came to visit. My neighbor Tim, we ran into him at the grocery store. We decided to make dinner. And as you can see, it was time to dance. <laughs> COVID's been hard. I think there's an aspect of being able to gather with friends and entertain. So you get the chance to bring people together, to cook, to be able to have that space and that time where you can laugh and just be yourself in your home space. Enjoy food, you know, and for everyone just to be themselves, you know. There's something really beautiful, really, really beautiful about people and when we all come together. After Allie left, I uh, drove down to my parents, which is about five hours away from Missoula to Billings. This is the little globe that sits my parents' bookshelf. I appreciate the fact that my mom has Africa facing out. I'm glad that I can be with her for Mother's Day weekend. And it was quite a weekend, y'all. Um, you're gonna get a good taste hey, of uh, back in my hometown and I'm um, gonna go out and kind of walk around and check things out and new restaurants and see what's going on and see what the vibe is tonight. I ended up going downtown the first night by myself and say it was staying at a little Airbnb a guy randomly gave me a flower on my walk. I thought it was a good sign. And I stopped and sat down. I had a really incredible uh, meal last night over at the Marble Table, which was kind of fun down on Montana Ave. Uh, I, one of my old high school um, like friends, Nate Benefit, who's also a DJ in the city. Um, so you should check him out if for like bookings, weddings, things like that as COVID continues to kind of fall out. Um, but today I'm going to probably go down to McCormick Cafe, grab a little bit of lunch, prop up and do some work, have some conversations as I sip my coffee. Um, but excited to be back in my hometown and to be out here having the chance to talk with folks. See y'all soon. So I ended up not going to McCormick Cafe. I ended up at the Sassy Biscuit. So the vibe was good, y'all. There's always work to do. I've been doing some consulting um, and some work with social media with my friend Malia Lazu and the Lazu group. So sat down to get some things up on Hootsuite, a social media platform, scheduling and putting things out. Also um, doing some work with Greatest Minds um, and Chip Greenwich. Um, so you can check out their platforms as well. Um, they work with youth in Boston and Atlanta, creating mentorship programs. Malia works with diversity, equity, and inclusion um, with large corporate companies in order for them to come to a space of which she has coined as equity realized. The whole concept of Edom Arbor is a weaving. It's a weaving of healing for bodies on and off the mat within community. And it's also a way for us to connect, to connect to ourselves and to connect to one another. And the tools in that are our bodies and ourselves. And, you know, the basics, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Maybe some TikTok here and there. I rented a car, so I decided to drive around a little bit. A lot of the conversation that Nana and I had was, you know, Billings is, it ain't pretty. <laughs> 
but it's definitely real. You know, the mountains are far off in the distance. See random, you know, trailer parks to the right and to the left, bars, car washes, lots of car dealerships, big and small. The train tracks are always that separating, like, divide in the city. Billings is an interesting spot. You know, I can't say that it was a spot I would ever think that I could come back to and feel that sense and space of home. Because, again, the aesthetic was something that wasn't anything that really ever appealed to me. However, the older I get, the more it's about how a space makes me feel rather than how something looks. But damn, am I a sucker for a good backdrop. <laughs> but speaking of yoga, the last day and night I decided to, I needed to get some work done. And as much as I love my family, my father playing gun smoke and singing at the top of his lungs doesn't make for very much a good <laughs> video recording and work environment. So I rented a room at the Northern Hotel and did some videos um, for a short series that I'm doing for a friend of mine. So it's important for you to be able to find time. The great thing about yoga you know, and being a teacher is that it allows you, impresses you to remember to breathe and to rest, to come back into that space. And then there's the times when you sit back and you call your friends to check in. Hello. Happy just Mother's to see Day. how everyone's doing. Hello, how so hence the time y'all are about you? to meet Natalie. The woman who pulled me out of the East West and brought me to the East Coast, who I am forever grateful for in terms of her friendship and her love and her kindness and her always supporting me and knowing that there was more in the world that I needed to see and more people that I needed to meet in order to get myself situated in no, life. No, I mean, not on, like, to kind of have that come recorded up. by another, like, by another camera. Okay. My friend Sydney, Sydney met Natalie. Okay. You can be she seen said, here. she looks like See? a Disney princess. <laughs> and she definitely does. Being someone who was always teased as a child by her siblings in terms of the crazy haircuts and whatnot. For Natalie to first compliment me on my hair in high school with her beautiful, you know, tendril curls. <laughs> I was always taken back. Like, why? What are you, what are you talking about? Um, but I will always remember that space. Natalie and I share the affinity of well, the affinity of a lot of things. Good food, good wine, lots of laughter, and our lives. I just show you what we've been working on. Natalie and her husband just bought a house up in New Hampshire. They had three boys. I was there for the birth of all three of them. She yeah, did them uh, all naturally. I, I don't know, we're gonna have dinner with Nina the other night too. Let me repeat that so again. Nice. She did them dinner. all naturally. <laughs> what do you Best have? birth control in the world, y'all. Hey, muffin. Hi. Yeah. Natalie's kids are literally some of the cutest kids I've ever seen in my life. Her husband grew up down in Texas, um, in Laredo, on the border. Um, and to this day, I'm still, I still don't know what Natalie's heritage is. <laughs> However, her and her husband make some really, really damn cute kids. She's also a master decorator. She's the mom where everything for ch the children's birthday parties will be in perfect alignment. And dinner parties, same type of thing. If you want her to plan anything for you, 
she definitely is the woman to call from the edible flowers on the cakes and ask any of our friends this. <laughs> they will all tell you the same exact thing. Like, are you, are you, Natalie left Billings and Billings. never really went back. Her family ended up moving um, and she didn't necessarily have to go back for anything. Um, And so we've always had this longstanding conversation about, you know, if I ever (laughs) were to return. And regardless of all things, she's always been supportive of me um, as I've traveled and journeyed from here to there and across um, the states and then back again. <laughs> you know, it was a funny side little, note. It was a shout out to Airbnb and like, whoever invented guy, it, like, because because honestly, like, my few experiences like, are, since it has been up and running like have been really like wonderful. Like little, it really like, gives you like the opportunity to see what neighborhoods like, are right like, from, like in different Miami spaces Saturn. within each city. Like main, you get a sense like, of what communities and who are and the neighbors and if people are actually talking to one another. That like looped around and I was like... Mind you, I'm a sociologist, so... I will study yeah, no. the shit um, out of neighborhoods you know, in terms of like, who is talking to who, great, what development you know, is going like, on, needed, who like, is working in restaurants, just, the front you know, and the back of the I house, mean, what are the dynamics I mean, like, was, do people um, walk on the street, like do people say like, hello to one another, <laughs> are there manicured <laughs> lawns, that, like, are there even sidewalks, you know, all of these bad, things so. that you start to really pay attention to when you're talking and observing cities in space and when you talk about things in terms of development versus gentrification. It's one thing that Natalie and I address pretty often is this conversation around social justice and looking at poverty within cities. She and I both came from similar spaces um, when it comes to spaces around income. One of the things I've been noticing recently have been the buying up of property where trailer homes sit. And there's been a certain displacement that is happening that we discussed. The other thing that we also have in common is as women, we really don't like being silenced in spaces where we see the injustice and systematically folks have just been taught to temper things down because of a level of discomfort. And as we've gotten older, we've been able to kind of see and been able to give folks some grace, um, understanding that people speak from a space of fear. And at the same time, we've always been ones about change. This is... And we tend to soothe our souls when those issues come up with wine. <laughs> I'm going to do a little this Shannon from Field Recordings 2019 100 Locked. Locked. The door is locked to anybody. Delicious. Delicious, y'all. Um I sure as fuck am. Like, I sure as... Listen, someone is going to resonate with what the fuck I am saying when I tag them into some shit. It's locked. I mean, the bar is right there. Oh, this is, I'm sure Natalie and I also served on the Planned Parenthood well, teen board like together. Please, so... Getting consent has always been a large topic of conversation in our relationship. Did you get Sutton's birthday? At one point in my work and time in the city, I feel like I really fell off as being present for the people that I cared and loved for the most. I was not necessarily there to show up as good of an aunt as I need to be, as good of a sister or a daughter. So Part of me moving back to Montana has definitely been me working on showing up, being present, being a good aunt, making sure that 
all of my nieces and nephews understand that their mother's breasts are their mother's breasts and not for them. <laughs> I've never weaned children, um, but I just have a certain thing about understanding whose body is whose. Sharing is caring, understood. And at the same time, I will be, I will be that aunt. Don't scream in your mom's ears. Like, um, yeah, I just needed, I'm going to piece out of this so I don't like record all of these conversations. Um, peace and love y'all. Um, the next day after saying goodbye to my mom and my dad, I got back on the road and had a long conversation with myself. So that conversation, y'all, is to be continued. Until then, enjoy the ride. Peace and love.